if you have not subscribed my channel till now please subscribe my channel and also click on the bell button so that you won't miss any important notifications from my channel hi guys welcome to my channel technostar today i'm going to tell you some basic things about uh, on how to work in unity and also how to develop the terrain and the different games so this is just a basic tutorial of what i'm going to show you so you can see that i have the unity uh, version over here this is a 32 bit version and you can uh, uh, get the unity from the app and even if you don't know how to download it there's a link given in the description about how to download unity you can even check the uh, video to like to get how to get the unity for your pc so now gets let's get started now first of all you go to you know, new projects and uh, project name you can keep it anything and the location even you can change the location so i'm not uh i'm going to keep this as project one and this you can keep anywhere you want and you have 3d and 2d options so uh, now i'll keep it for the 3d one and click on the create project button So you can see that uh, uh, the unit has opened. So now uh, this is a free version. So there's a little difference with the free version and the paid version. So now this is the scene and this is the game like we will see you can modify and you can see it and this is the asset store. So if you want to have the side by side ways of the game like just drag this and you can have the sideways so whatever uh, changes you do in the scene it will be automatically done in the or you can directly see the process game process so now today i'm going to show you just the basic things about the gravity how we can use and many and some other things so there is a quick these are the five buttons this is for the movement of these things and this is for the movement of the object rotation and uh, this is for the resize and this can be accessed by using Q, W, E, R and T so now I'm going to add like you will get uh, 3D objects like this thing this much and 2D the sprite and here you can add a um, plane or a cube if you want so I'm going to add plane so you can see that there's a plane over here and this is the camera which uh, focuses uh, this is the camera so you can't you can't uh, see anything because uh, this plane is not under exactly in the camera so what you need to do is you can either move the camera or you can move this so it come So instead of uh, playing, when you can add, if you want, like you can add even uh, 3D object. You can add a cube. So you can you can see that all the cube is over here, and this is uh, this is the middle mouse button to move, and scroll button to zoom, and the right mouse button for the uh, rotation of the view and uh, this is for the moment so can add a cube you can place it on the you can see that you'll get the position rotation and scale so now this is just only this much so if you want to spread it and spread it like this even you can do this for the uh so here you can see that uh, the full uh, cube is expanded so what the changes you do over here you can make it out over here and uh, if you this is why is used for the thickness so thickness if you want to reduce the thickness you can even change the y value like see now thickness is this much and i'm going to reduce the y value so the thickness has come down so i'm going to add an the cube over here upon this so now you can see that there's a cube but you can't uh, see it so you need to go it and right click so 
So you can right click right click over here and go to create option and you get a thing called material. So click on it. So you can name this any material now. I'm going to like clear or something, anything which you want, and you can even change the color of this. So you can change even the color. So you can keep it anyhow and click over here. So now can't see a cube, right? So now just drag and you can see that you know places over here. So I can't uh, do it right now. So this is too small. So what I need to do is just enlarge this. So you can enlarge it, and you can the color. So you can see that uh, your cube has been colored. So if you want to regenerate, you can go over here, setting and reset. So you can see that it's already reset. So I can't give it color for this. So I'm going to enlarge it. And see that you can have a cube over here. So this is really easy to develop by keeping this sideways. And now I'm going to show you to add some physics to this. Right now it's on the ground. So sorry. So I'm moving this upward in the direction. So now you can see that it's floating in the air. So now if I press on the start button over here, you can see that just the cube is over there. It's not falling. It's not not a gravity or gravity is not acting on it. So to make the gravity act on anybody, what you need to do is come out of this and you uh, get a add component on the right side of your screen. So click on the add component and go to physics. In physics, click on rigid body. So you have a rigid body over here. So now we have got the use gravity over your tick mark. So now we can see that the box of the cube falls down. It's realistic, so I'm going to show you more about it. So now there's a cube over here. So I'm going to place in the cube or below this. So I have uh, made this cube. So the cube has been colored over here. So I'm going to place it above this exactly above it. So not even exactly. This I need to rotate a little bit. So I'm going to rotate it. Uh, Can rotate it any half so this little confusion the rotation so I'm going to keep it like that B so this I'm going to place so you can see that it's over here So you can see that this has come on the support of this, but still I need to. So now I'm going to enlarge it like this. I'm going to place it over here. So you can see that this fell, but um. So I've kept it over here with a little edge. So now this is real physics. You can see that it falls down. So even for this, you need to add a component. If you want to add effects for this, sorry, you need to go to physics and rigid body. And you now both things fall 
down you can see it's really realistic and you can develop many things like that so in my next video I'm going to show you how to create a terrain for the, like a forest with the trees so for that if you want to learn how to do animation or do video games in unity please subscribe my channel and I'll be coming with the new videos for you uh, in the how to about how to develop a game in unity and I'm also going to give you the uh, tutorials about the C sharp which is uh, the basic language which is used in this applica application to for the functioning of the game thank you